Welcome to Kiran's Learner Academy. Dear students, we are over here to prepare for the bank PO reasoning because as recently SBI PO and clerical forms are out and nearby we have our exam. So we are preparing for the reasoning chapter wise so that it could be helpful in cracking your respective exams. So the topic for today is series. In series if we talk about we have three types of series. First is your number then alphabets and then repeated series. Number series we are going to deal with only numbers. There will be some pattern between these certain given numbers. Series is nothing but three or four numbers given with it. Like one is related with the sum function with second, the other relation between second and third, the other relation between third and fourth. But the, all the three relations are quite similar. In the, this respect only we are able to find the next number. These are the base, this can be based on the number on the or alphabets or in repeated series or combination of alphabet or number series. So let's see how the question comes and how we have to tackle it. First question is what should come in the place of the question mark in the following series of the combination of alpha numerals and symbols. So if we talk about so we have alpha also we have numerals also we have symbols also we have the combination of three so what we are going to do is we are com we will compare the first letter first term of the uh, first alphabet of the first term with the second term and then with the third term so if we write the numbers this is 25 this is 24 and this is 21 sorry 23 so if we go it is minus 2 it is minus 2 so if we do further minus 2 we will get 19 19 will give you s next we have 9 9 and then we have 7 and then we have 5 so if we talk about then it is minus 2 minus 2 then it will give minus 2 it will give you 3 then we have about b b to D and D to F then we are doing it plus 2 plus 2 further F will plus 2 will give you H so we have the answer S 3 H and with the star because star is in every term so the answer will be first if we talk about the next one next is how many such fives are there in the following sequence are the sum of the two immediately falling digits is greater than the sum of two immediately preceding digits. So we have to see that how many fives are there. So we have to look for the fives in such that if this is five and we have two numbers preceding it and C and D two numbers following it. So the following digit should be greater. So if we talk about this five that we have 13 and this is 11 so this condition is not satisfied if we talk about the other one we have 6 4 plus 2 and then 5 and then 5 plus 4 so this will work one combination if we go with the other one we have 5 plus 4 and then 5 and then 4 plus 8 so this is 12 and this is 9 this is also going to work this is second combination then if we talk about the other one other one is 5 this 5 this is 10 and this is 7 so this is not going to work because we need less it is greater if we talk about this 5 then we have 8 and 7 15 and 9 and 8 this is also not going to work it is 15 the other one is 15 and this is 17 so this is will work this is less than 9 plus 8 and middle we have 5 so we have overall 3 combination so we are going to mark option number 3 next what should be the next term in the following letters so if we make the combination b then b c then b c d then b c d e then b c d e f every time every successive term has one term extra in comparison to the previous one so if we go with then g then h then we have to write i because the last one is with h so we will be ending with i so answer will be 1 if we talk about the next how many such digits are there in the number 83625719 each of which is as far from the beginning of the number as when the digits are arranged in the ascending order within the number so if we arrange it 
This is 6 to 5, 7, 4, 1, 9. If we arrange in the ascending order, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8 and 9. So if we look, the digits which do not change their places are 2 in number. So we will mark with the option number 3. Let's see the next one. The position of how many digits will remain the same if the digits in the number this are arranged in the ascending order within the number left to right. 4, 9, 2, 7, 6, 3, 8 and 1. So if we arrange 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, then 6, 7, 8 and 9. So if we look for we have two digits 6 and 8 which doesn't have which do not change their place after rearranging. So the answer will be third. Next, what will come in the question mark in the following alphabetic series? So we are going to compare the first letter of the first term with the first letter of the next term. A with the I and then with the P. So if you look for A is 1, then it is 9. We will do plus 8. If we do plus 8, then we will get, then we are doing plus 7, then we will get 16. So next we have to do is plus 6 so 16 plus 6 will give you 22 that is V similarly G to N then N to T G is 7 N is 14 so we are doing plus 7 T is 20 so we are doing plus 6 now we are going to do plus 5 that means 25 that means Y so we are going to get V Y option number second next what should come next in the following letter series. So this is a kind of repeated series that the alphabets are repeating in the further sequence. So what we are going to do, we have to break the series in either of the things, either in three uh, three alphabet portion, four alphabet or two alphabet. So if we look about, so we can break it in four. See, after four everything is being repeated. So if we break it, so see, then this is being repeated, then again this is being repeated the second term is again being repeated then CC if we break it like this then BCD so every time the number of terms are increasing first of all it was only A then B then C then D so now what we require is double A we will be requiring B so the answer will be second next what should come in the place of question mark in the following letter sequence so if we see that a to c we are moving with 2 then with e plus 2 again then e to plus 2 if we do then we will give g g plus 2 will give you i so that means we are getting the one word as i g next we have z then we have y then we have x so we are doing minus 1 so if we do minus 1 in this so it we will get w then if we do minus 1 then we get v similarly with b plus 2 will give you d d plus 2 will give you f then f plus 2 will give you g sorry uh, it will give you i so the answer is g w i but we don't have any of the options as such so we are going to mark option number 5 next next we have what should come in the following letter series so if we see with this z to x we are doing minus 2 x to v we are again doing minus 2 then minus 2 t then minus 2 r then minus 2 p then minus 2 n n minus 2 l L minus 2 J then again the next sequence started Y minus 2 will give you W then U minus 2 will give you U then v, uh, U minus 2 will give you S S minus 2 will give you Q Q minus 2 will give you O and O minus 2 will give us M the answer will be first one Next, if CT is related to FQ and AI is related to DF in a certain way, to which of the following is SP related to following the same pattern? So we have to relate CT with F and Q. So if we do C to F, we are plus 3. If T to Q, we are doing minus 3. Similarly, AI, 
df if we are doing it we are doing it plus 3 i to f is minus 3 similarly if we go with the s and p if s plus 3 will give you v and minus 3 will give you m so the option will be option number 5 next uh, we have study the following elements letters digits and symbol sequence to answer the following questions given below so we have a sequence in which we have numbers alphabets symbols then if each symbol questions comes if each symbol of the above sequence is replaced with the letter and each digit is replaced with new symbol then how many letters will be there in the sequence so what we have to do we have to calculate the alphabet so alphabets which are given in the sequence will remain as it is but each symbol if we re replace with the letter so means we have to count the symbol as well and the letter also so if we count this so these are two four six and one more this because symbol has to be so we can count these two then these four and then this symbol also then this also so if we calculate as in three four seven eight ten 12 14 and then 16 so we get the answer as 16 next question we have if each symbol of the above sequence is replaced with the digits from 1 to 9 which are not there in the sequence then what will be the sum of digits so if we calculate we have to sum first of all we have to sum 1 7 9 then 2 the symbol has to be replaced then the symbol has to be replaced then 3 then 5 and then these are to be replaced so we already have five digits and four symbols are to be replaced so they have already said that we have to replace with the numbers which are not there in the sequence and they should be different one so one will is there two three four we can add on then five we have six and eight so if we add all the numbers these are sum of natural digits so what we are going to get is the sum as so the sum will be a the sum of 9 natural digits will be 9 into 10 by 2 that will give you 45 the answer will be second next find out the missing term in the following letter number series so we have to calculate see uh, letter number series next term so first let's see with the alphabet m t then p and then q T with the P and Q. So if we see that there is a quite large gap. So we are going to compare first with the third term. Third with the fifth one. And then fifth with the seventh one. So M with P. Then with S. And then we have to find out. So M plus 3 will give you P. And P plus 3 will give you S. Then S plus 3 will give you V. Next if we compare the numbers. We have 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 with 10 and 10 plus 3 will give you 13 the option will be v13 that is first option next question find out the missing term in the following number letter series so if we compare this if we see then we are doing d g k p v so d to g we have 3 then we have 4 then we will add on 5 then if we go with G K P V so what are we going to get is G plus 4 then pl plus 5 then plus 6 and then we have K to P P to S V and then C so K to P we are adding 5 and then we are adding 6 then we are adding 7 take care then we are doing with the numbers that is 0 plus 3 3 3 plus 5 will give you 8 and 8 plus 7 will give you 15 so what is the missing term we have we have k p v 8 so answer will be second
सो दीज वर दी क्वेश्चन वी लुक्ड ऑन फर्स्ट सीरीज थैंक यू